Hi guys, magandang araw. Sa araw na ito, pag-uusapan naman natin yung Code of Ethics. So, pero bago yan, kung bago ka pa lang sa aking YouTube channel, paki-like, comment, share, and subscribe. At pakipindot na rin ang notification bell para updated ka po sa aking gagawing A security agent, his fundamental duty is to serve the interest or mission of his agency in compliance with the contract entered into with clients or customer of the agency. So bilang ahinti ng katiwasayan ang kanyang unang tungkulin ay gampanan ang kapakanan ng kanyang ahinsya at ng kliyente nito upang isakatuparan ang nakasaad sa kontratang na pagkasunduan ng mga ito. Number two. She shall be honest in thoughts and deeds, both in his personal and official actuations, obeying the laws of the land and the regulations prescribed by his agency and established by the company he is supposed to protect. She magiging tapat sa isip at sa gawa sa kanyang pansarili o official na kilos at kanyang susundin ang mga pambansang batas at alituntunin ay pinapatupad sa kanyang batas. Number three, he shall not reveal any confidential matter that is confided to him as a security guard and such other matters imposed upon him by law. Hindi niya ibubunyag ang mga lihim na pinagkakatiwala sa kanya bilang tanod. Gayon din ang iba pang bagay na pinapatupad ng kanyang ahinsya. Gayon din ang sa kumpanyang binabantayan. Number four, he shall act at all times with decorum and shall not permit personal feelings, prejudice, and undue friendship to influence his actuation in the performance of his official functions. Siya ay kikilos ng maayos sa lahat ng oras at hindi hayaan ang sariling damdamin, maling haka-haka at maling pakikipagkaibigan ay maka-impluensya sa kanyang asal sa pagtupad ng kanyang official na tungkulin. Number five, he shall not compromise with criminal and other lawless elements to the prejudice of the customer of his client, but to assist the government in its relentless drive against lawlessness and other forms of criminality. Hindi siya makikipagkompromiso sa mga salarin at iba pang lumalabag sa batas upang mapahamak ang kliyente. Manapay tutulong siya sa pamalaan sa walang tigil na pagpuksa sa masasamang loob at iba pang ori ng kriminalidad. Number six, he must carry his assigned duties as security guard or watchman as required by the law to the best of his liability and the safeguard life property of the establishment. So dapat niyang maipatupad ang tungkuling nakaatang sa kanya bilang tanod ng naayon sa batas sa abot ng kanyang mga kaya at dapat niyang pangalagaan ang buhay at ari-arian ng establishmentong binabantay. Number 7. He shall wear his uniform, badge, patches, and insignia properly as a symbol of public trust and confidence as, a, as an honest and trustworthy security guard. Watchman and private detective. Gagamitin niya ang kanyang uniforme, tsapa at insinya ng maayos sapagkat ang mga ito'y sagisag ng pagtitiwala ng madla sa kanya bilang tapat na tanod, sereno at pribadong sekreta. Number 8. He must keep his allegiance first to the government, to the agency he is employed and to the establishment he is assigned to serve with loyalty and dedicated service. Dapat siyang manatiling matapat sa pamalaan sa ahin siyang kanyang kinabibilangan ng buong katapatan at kasipagan. Number 9. He shall diligently and progressively familiarize himself with the rules and regulation laid down by his agency and that of the customer or clients. 
siya ay magiging matiyaga at pag-ibayuhin ang sariling kaalaman tungkol sa alituntunin na pinapairal ng kanyang ahensya gayon din ng mga kliyente nito. Number 10, He shall at all times be courteous and respectful and he shall salute to his superior officers, government officials and officials of establishment where he is assigned or the company he is supposed to serve. Siya ay magalang sa lahat ng oras at siya ay sasaludo sa kanyang mga pinuno. Gayon din sa opisyalis ng pamalan ng establishment ang kanyang tinuturoan o kumpanyang kanyang pinaglilingkuran. 11. He shall report to his duty always in proper uniform and neat in appearance. So siya ay papasok sa tungkuli ng laging maayos ang uniforme at malinis ang itsura. 12. He shall learn at heart or memorize and strictly observe the laws and regulations governing the use of firearms. So pag-aralan niya is at puso o memoryahin at mahigpit na ipatupad ang mga batas at alituntunin tungkol sa tamang paggamit ng baril. Hanggang dyan lang muna guys. Sana may natutunan kayo at bago tayo magtapos na so sanang pasalamatan si Mr. J. Blanc sa pagsubscribe at sa lahat po nang nagsubscribe sa akin. Maraming maraming salamat po. At sa gusto pong mag security guard, so ilalagay ko yung Facebook page link ko po dyan sa description para may visit na lang po at pakipin po sa akin kung gusto nyo magiging isang security guard.